Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Apa King Carter here. I want to actually talk to you guys about NBA 2K15, my team. Now that the embargo has lifted, Operation Sports now has its interview. It is time for me to give my thoughts. Nah, man, in all seriousness, I knew about a lot of this information a while back. And I'm so glad I'm able to talk about it now. So, check it out. NBA 2K15, my nut. I mean, I'm sorry. NBA 2K15, my team, has arrived with a whole lot of changes, a whole lot of upgrades. And I think this mode will be something that a lot of players will actually want to play this year. So, first big thing is that packs are cheaper. I know you guys are probably like, hold on, but I thought the big news was that they had an auction house. No, no, no. The big thing is that packs are cheaper this year. So, packs will be cheaper. You will have a chance to pull bronze, silver, and gold players inside of one pack. So, I know a lot of you guys probably are Madden players as well. So, if you have anything that you know about Madden Ultimate Team, just think of it like this. My team has it now. So, let's talk about the auction um, system. It seems that you will be able to auction off players. So, if you pull a duplicate, you will not have to sell it back to the house, which is 2K. You'll be able to keep it in your uh, collection and auction it off. Now, they have not said if they will be able to trade players to others. They haven't said that. What they have said is that you will be able to auction off players. So, what I'm thinking is... They don't want people getting all these Jordans and pulling them from a whole bunch of packs, like pulling like five or six Jordans and then trading them for other great elites or whatever they're, I guess it'll be uh, diamonds, emeralds, rubies, and sapphires. I don't think that they want to do that. I think they may even limit it to, you know, whereas though you only probably pull one diamond, one sapphire, you probably could pull a few rubies because they aren't like all that crazy. And emeralds, they're like season updates, so you'll probably be able to pull more of those. But it seems like the auction house will be probably where you'll be able to get all these different cards that if you don't feel like searching for them through packs. Now, um, changes to the game modes um, they have the tournaments which uh, of course had to be domination and they have something called challenges now challenges is something like the challenges for Madden Ultimate Team um, you will get challenged with something weekly as they have said it you'll be able to get weekly updates weekly challenges just let me give you a, uh, an example uh, if I tweet at 2k and say I want these guy to, guys to play a certain lineup where I have like a Sapphire Iverson, um, a Ruby Drummond, a Diamond Durant, Diamond Kobe, Diamond LeBron, and like um, probably a, a Olajuwon or a Shaq. But my bench would be freaking uh, Steph Curry, um, probably Michael Jordan, uh, you know, like just a, cra just a crazy absurd lineup. Um, seven minute quarters hall of fame and the challenge is you have to win by like 20 <laughs> if there's some some stupid some some just totally out of your mind but probably they'll do it just you know you have to win the game and you i guess like your overall rating has to be pretty good but you know that's basically what their new challenges mode is but you know a lot of you guys should be aware of what challenges mean that's all um, domination will be making a return like i said um they still will have the certain tiers like one star two star three star but what they've added to it is if you collect 99 stars you can win a certain card at the end of the run so they're probably aiming for a lot of people to play domination mode more um that's probably to keep you inside of my team the mode itself to make you open up more packs keep going to the auction house and keep playing these games now road to the playoffs has been uh, I guess you could say, hmm, kind of like tightened up towards where if you are starting off in road to the playoffs, in order to play like eighth seed, probably seventh seed, maybe sixth seed, you'll probably have to play with like all bronze lineup. And you know, once you advance to the higher seeds, you'll be able to play with silvers, then golds, and then I guess once you get down to like the top three seeds, it's all golds. Just play the best you game you can play to win. Now, uh, let me talk to you guys about uh, quarter lengths and difficulty. So, 
my team will have pro and superstar difficulty it looks like only i don't think they're ever going to touch all-star or hall of fame now enrolled to the playoffs the difficulty increases with the higher seeds and domination is set to pro but of course you know when you're playing for those extra packs and you know you want to beat that road team or home team i guess they'll up the ante the superstar and you play it like that um next thing up the legends um they will be adding new legends this year uh some of them are you know nate archibald bernard king rick barry tom chambers kevin johnson you know players like that but they said he had many more surprises so i'm thinking that they went out and got like a lot of different uh contracts signed um anybody that is actually deceased that isn't a legend in the nba 2k they probably went out talked to their um you know lawyers and everything got the paperwork signed their families and stuff so hopefully you know they bring more players to it i would love to see you know more sixers uh legends packs man I, I would love to see it but you know we only have what i think two yeah i know it's all right nah but uh a lot of a lot of people had a question about uh the frequency of duplicate cards so with the new auction house of course you know if you do get a duplicate you can just auction it off but what they're saying is now with the new selection of you getting a bronze silver and gold it kind of counteracts the whole duplicate phase because i'm guessing that you'll probably open up something like pro packs from madden instead of just opening up straight up team packs all the time and pulling 100 duplicates until you do the collection so i'm guessing that'll kind of make make a balance because i know a lot of people will probably be like man well i want i want a bunch of different gold so i'm just gonna pull all these crazy packs and hopefully i can get different goals instead of saying i need lebron james right now so i'm gonna go open up 40 heat packs and get 40 joel anthony's and something like that <laughs> something like that but you know you know what i mean um also team building uh, a lot of people know that like last year when you played in some of the tournaments you played with like all point guard lineup all bronze lineup and stuff like that so that will kind of make the team building aspect better but they said that they will have new tools so like say for instance i, I know i keep going back to madden but hey that's what they're doing um they had like something like um ground and pound right that, that type of tier and you had players that um kind of like succeeded more if they had like ground and pound stats and you know you had like plus five plus ten and this and all of that so i'm guessing that's what the whole team building feature is so like say like you know they said challenges are like what they had an all fast lineup well what if they have a all speedy lineup a speedy point guard speedy shooting guard speeding three speedy four speedy five you know somebody people that can get up and down the court maybe they might do things like that you never know uh also um they still wanted to ask about signature skills and stuff like that like lockdown defender posterizer and stuff like that all of that stuff will make a return attributes contracts and injury cards will be returning so you guys can look forward to you know having your starting five all have lockdown defender and all having posterizer yes 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 um now a lot of people said um well is the mode going to get boring a lot um and 2k said that it's not going to get boring because they're going to be giving up weekly updates so you know i'm sorry to bring it back madden the way madden does it with weekly updates they drop weekly updates and they have like a timed limit or whatever i'm guessing 2k is going to be going with that with a uh, clock you know counting down and it's going to make you literally come to my team every week to complete challenges so i'm guessing that this mode will be played a whole lot that means that people that play my career you might play five games in my career be tired and then you be like shit they got these weekly challenges let me go on my team let me see what's up is, it's going to be hectic, but, you know, a lot of people are going to be happy because this 2K seems like it's well-rounded. They have my league, my GM, my career, my team, quick game. They're going to have the part. It's, uh, are we going to be able to sleep? Fuck. This is IKC signing out, man. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. I'm going to holler at you on the next one, man. Peace. Yeah.